to be able to connect all the water lines and the sewer line as long with the electricity you need to come to the utilities bay the utilities bay is right by the generator bay is the second door behind the driver's side rear wheel to open the door be aware there's a lock if the lock is in this position vertical that means that it's unlocked if it's horizontal it's locked you need the key to unlock it to open the door you pull the latch and we're going to go from top to bottom. If you see here on the top of the door, you have storage for all the electrical adapters. We have an, an adapter to, to convert 50 amps to 30 amps and one 15 amps to 30 amps. So for example, this is the main motorhome plug. If you actually go to a campground in which they have 30 amp service, you use this plug directly. If they have 50, you plug this in the, in the campground outlet and you use the adapter to adapt the power. Now in some places that you may be, you may not have a 30 or a 50 amp campground outlet. So this adapter will allow you to plug the motorhome into a houselet 110 adapter straight into here. Keep in mind, if you do that, you won't be able to run the air conditioners because a regular household adapter, regular household outlet will not have enough power to run all the electronics but it will serve for example if you want to keep the fridge if you want to keep the batteries charged if you want to keep some level of power inside as long as you don't turn on the air conditioners now if you do want to have generator power this cable needs to be plugged into the generator outlet which is right here so you need to have this cable in here so the generator power will go into the motorhome if this is unplugged as long as you run the generator, you will not have power. Now, as far as the water systems, these are all the water systems. Uh, this is where you plug in the hose from the campground. Uh, you can use that to be able to put the water into the system, but not to put water in the fresh tank. The fresh tank water inlet is on the other side by the driver's door. This one is simply to be able to put a hose to get water directly from the campground into the system. Uh, there's also a flush port. You do not need to use that flush port. There's also a shower port in which you can use to uh, wash down if you actually have to uh, the sewer area. Also in here you would have the TV input and the 110 receptacles output. Also up here on the door you will see that you have the TV cable that is used to connect to the campground directly into the TV input, which is up here. Now, the most important thing about the water systems, do not store the water hose in here. The water hose goes in a different compartment, not in this compartment. Now going to the other side, you will see the sewer ports. You have the black and the gray. And you also have a hose in there. That is actually just an extension. So, if you want to empty your tanks, the process is relatively simple. You hook up your hose, and there is a bayonet attachment, and you run it through one of these holes in the ground, out into the sewage port in your camera. Once everything is hooked up, we recommend that you open the gray tank. The gray tank is the tank that contains the water from example from the shower or from the faucets. It's not sewage, it's just dirty water, in some cases soapy water. That is the gray. You can tell by the gray valve and because it is only a small pipe. Now the other valve is the black valve for the black water tank which is actually the sewage from the toilet. Once you plug the hose in, the first thing you're going to do before you do anything else is open the gray and close pretty quick so you can verify that you have no leaks with the gray water, not with the black water. You do not want to check for leaks with the black water. But once you know that the connection is okay and that the water is not going to be splashing everywhere, you open the black tank, you let it drain completely, and you close it. Then you open the gray tank, let it drain completely, emptying the tank, washing the hose, and you can close it again. Keep in mind, if you're connected all the time to a sewer connection, 
You can leave the gray water tank open, but you should never, ever leave the black tank open. Doesn't matter where you are, if you're connected or not. Because if you actually are connected, what it will happen is that all the solids will remain in the tank and all the liquids will actually flow through the hose, eventually drying up everything in the tank and ruining the tank. So, also once you're done, the sewer hose needs to be storage in this area. To store the hose, and I'll bring the hose for you to see. You simply find a place to put the hose into the space that you have to the hose in. Once you're done and the connections are all set, you can lock and close the bay. Now the water hose, you need to put it at a different storage. For example, in this case, in the nearby storage. Do not ever store the water hose with the sewer hose or with the electric compartment.